Hey guys, welcome back to the Chris Bliss. Hope you're all having a blissful day. Today we are on the collector ship. I kind of uh, messed up and forgot to uh, include the cutscene, but we we're on the collector ship. Elusive Man told us that uh, this was disabled by the Terrians, which we'll find more about later. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. Perhaps the missing colonists are there, if they're still alive. And we have a pod up here that we can examine. Let's take a look and see. These are the same containers the collectors oh, used they're empty horizon. now. Only these are empty. It must have been horrible, trapped in these pods. Helpless. Completely at the mercy of the collectors. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, we do have a bunch of... Ooh. Just dead bodies piled up. What happened here? It looks like they're all human as well. Their heads are gone too. That's disturbing. Why would the collectors just leave a pile of bodies lying around? They must have been used for testing. If they were a control group, they would have been discarded at the end of the experiment. Yeah, maybe they're better off dead than being tested on. There are worse things than death. Like being a test subject for twisted aliens. I know you're right, but it doesn't make me feel any better. Alright, so we got some Paragon points, which is nice. Let's continue this way. I don't think we, we have to fight anything for a while. I think it's more of a exploratory. Uh, we do see some humans that are just dead. Uh, collector technology. Go ahead and get that. Medkit, you can get that. Uh, and then there is a control terminal. Let's activate this. That's a collector. Were they experimenting on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. Why would they do that? Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. A quad strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure. The Protheans. The collectors are Protheans. My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean Shepherd. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. Are you sure about this, Edie? You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta Cluster. But there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes. Reduced heterochromatin structure. Elimination of superfluous junk sequences. Terrible fate. Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. They're not doing to us what they did to the Protheans. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Now this is where we get to pick a uh, different weapon to use in battle. I'm going to go ahead and go with the assault rifle. Um, just because I don't feel like I ever... I really never use snipers in Mass Effect. Shotgun, I'm not going to get really close to enemies anyway. And assault rifle will just mean that I could kind of shoot guys a little bit longer range. So I'm going to go ahead and go with assault rifle. Um, but... With that being said, I'm still going to go with my uh, Collector SMG because I think it's way better than the the uh, Battle Rifle. Alright, let's get that. We do have our warp ammo out for... Oh, no, we don't. Um, let's get our warp ammo. There we go. Now we have our squad warp ammo. Let's get these power cells. Element zero. There we go. Um, and I think this is only for us. Only... The main character, Shepard, can get the additional weapon upgrade. Look, on the oh, crap. There must be hundreds of them. 
How many do you think are full? Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. Man, Edie knows a little bit about everything. Let's get this collector technology. Uh, 15,000 credits. Nice. We're actually kind of low on credits. I don't know if... I don't know if... Uh, I don't know why. It just seems like we... From previous playthroughs, I have a lot less uh, credits this time. Let's access this terminal and see if we can find anything out. This should come in handy. Oh, damage protection. Okay, that's nice. Always good to get those damage protection. Dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. Yes, yeah, something does not add up, and we will find out a little bit later. Uh, I guess we can start sprinting. I don't think there's much to know or to do now. I'm just looking out for some of those. They could take every human in the terminus systems and not have enough to fill these pods. Look at those individual They're ones. Going to target Earth. Not if we stop them. I think those are the pods. Anyway, uh, I'm just looking for little upgrades that we may find along the way, like those damage protection ones, because those are extremely, extremely useful. Here's the command console. Let's go ahead and talk to this. Where are the bodies of the collected crew? Careful, Shepard. Something doesn't feel right about this. No, it doesn't. Edie, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the data banks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Uh, that can't be good. Dude, that would creep me out so much if I was in there. Everyone's all right, Joker. What just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap. Uh-oh. Get up, Miranda. Oh, great. Okie doke. Uh, first, I'm gonna have Tally get out her pistol, just because I don't think we're gonna get too close to these things. Let's get this warp ammo up. Here they come. Beautiful. If I have to fight Harbinger, oh my god. Oh crap, they got those Scions. Those guys are... we need to focus our attacks on this Oh, I hear Harbinger somewhere. There he is. God dang it. I could take out Harbinger. No big deal. It's just him and his power attack. Okay, you guys aim for that. No, I guess we can kill together. Those scions are just, they're not hard, they're just annoying. That one hit. Okay, ladies, Easy take out the scion. Get us out of here, Let's go. Where's Harbinger? No, of course. Alright, I'll take some fire. You guys keep on trying to take out that super scion. They got collector particle beams. Oh, crap. I gotta, I gotta stay down. Kelly, get down. You're gonna get hit. Oh, crap. Return my body if possible. Let's get Harbinger. There we go. 
go. Kali's combat drone taking some of the aggro away. There we go. I think that's... Is that all of them? I'm not exactly sure. Shepard, you must manually reestablish my link to the command console. Okay, is there anything... I guess we can get some of this ammo. I don't think there's anything we could pick up. Upgrades or anything. Let's contact Normandy again. I've regained control of the platform, Shepard. Nice. Thank you, Edie. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. Why is it unusual? What are you getting at? Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is present, but corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? Let's, uh, he, he betrayed us. That son of a bitch sent us right into collector hands. We should have known this would happen. Cerberus can't be trusted. There has to be some other explanation. The elusive man wouldn't do this to us. He, he just wouldn't. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. Let's get the heck out of that Renegade. Okay, so we got Paragon too. Where do we go? Okay, here we go. Let's make sure we got our right weapon weapons out. Uh, SMGs, very nice. Uh, should I go with shotgun with Tally? I feel like the hand can sucks. Let's just yeah, let's go shotgun with Tally. Change weapons. And then let's make sure she has her warp ammo on. Here we go. Alright, let's go down here. We have a med kit. Around the corner, take the door on your right. The door. Oh, that's the door. Okay, let's keep on moving down. Collector technology, you can salvage this. I don't know if it'll just be credits or what. Yeah, credits, that's okay. Never have too much money. Oh crap, here they, here they come. Jeez, Louise. Oh, not freaking Harbinger again. Tally, get your uh, drone out there. There we go. Go. A little headshot action there. Very nice, very nice. Let's move up. Keep on moving. Look for ammo too. Alright, let's just start sprinting. Get the heck out of here. Good, we got a bunch of ammo right there. Perfect. And we got a bunch of collectors. No crap, not behind this thing. Oh, not you again. Hey, Tally's thing is pretty useful. Her uh, combat drone. Nice. Tally's doing some work. That's what I like to see. Let's see if I can get this. Ah. Nope. Oh, man, these shields are annoying. Uh oh. Throw my thing too high. Crap, there's a guy right up here. Oh, man. We are not in a good spot. Well, I'm not in a good spot. There we go. He's dead. Look at the combat drone. It is doing its job. I got another freaking harbinger. Get in there, Miranda. Oh, cost? Oh, God. You cannot 
I gotta make sure that these guys on this side don't flank us. Okay, I think we're... We still have a Harbinger. Tally can take out... There's Harbinger. Tally can start taking out those husks if they start coming out. What's he talking about? There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and get some of this ammo. There we go. Alright, Tally's not doing too bad. I don't know. I For some reason, I thought she would start just not doing too well with the combat because she's Orient. She ain't doing too bad. Let's go ahead and get across this thing. Miranda is always pretty decent. Uh, whoops. But I think we're going to switch her to... Okay, she is using warp, and combat drone is her only thing. Okay, that's okay. Combat drone is a good way to get those things off us. Oh, great. Oh, crap. Now this thing is a pain. All, everyone open fire on this thing. Praetorian. Good, combat drone. Do your, do your, do your job. That's alright. Oh, what the? Where'd you come from? I'm melee you to death. Ah, crap. Come on. Oh, god. Got collectors coming this way. Torian's over there. Oh my god. Alright guys, take out that thing. Praetorian. Focus all ammo. All shots on the Praetorian. Let's go this way. Wait a minute, what is this? Power cells. Okay, I don't want to get flanked, but I think we're going to have to hide behind here. Yeah, good. Use that combat drone. I think I'm going to switch to my rocket launcher. Hit him with another warp. A couple of those. Man, that doesn't do crap either. Alright, I think we can probably take him out with our regular stuff. Keep on hitting with warp and stuff. Oh my god. Let him have it. Attack, attack, attack. Oh, crap. It's gonna explode by us. Okay, I did it. Okay, I don't know what that means, but. Okay, there we go. Go. Down there. That's where we came in. We must be getting close to the end. Down here? Oh no, that's not where we came. Uh, I think we already accessed this control terminal. This looks interesting. Oh, tech damage. Nice. Collector. Oh, I, I thought that was something we already uh, picked up. I'm guessing we go that way. I'm assuming they're gonna start popping down. Yep. That was not the best of warps. Oh my god, what the heck is this? Abomination. Oh, we gotta make sure we kill these guys before they come out and get us. Be nice, carpentry. Okay, we gotta we can't get our heads exposed from this position. Engage your target. Yeah, it hurts me. This is okay, let's try and take out some of these mob guys before Harbinger switches. There we go. Okay, let's keep on moving this way. Uh, oh, there's another drone. Oh, crap. Maybe not the best idea. Just don't turn into freaking Harbinger. There we go. Nice. Uh, I think we can go... Oh, jeez. Not the Scion. Oh, I hate this thing. Not a problem. 
the heck? Oh, great. Get back, get back, get back. Get back, get back, get back. Follow me, follow me. Oh, no. She's dead. God dang, where's Tally? Okay, she's in a decent spot. Miranda's dead. I cannot hit this guy for crap. I don't know where the Scion is, and I don't know where Harbinger is. Okay, he must be up here. There he is. Alright, Tally, follow me. Start launching our stuff at him. There we go. Combat drone doing its thing. Very nice, but where is the Scion? That is the question. Oh my god, more guys. Holy crap. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to revive Miranda here. She needs uh She needs to be up so she can help us. And then Miranda, you gotta come back and get near us, hopefully. We'll cover you, but better get back here. There she is. Oh not him again. All our fire on Harbinger. Man, I'm loving this combat drone. It's just such a good distraction. Okay, now it's all open up on this thing. Just hit it with everything. I think it's stuck behind that environment. It's stuck behind that little rock. Almost dead. Let's go. There we go. Alright, let's head over this little trunk, tree, trunk, I don't even know what that is. We're running low on SMG ammo, which is never good. Weapons are almost going to come online. Can we just jump down there? No. Let's go. Oh, crap. Oh, thank you, Miranda, for slam attack. I forgot that I never really upgrade that, but that was actually pretty solid. Let's get him. Um... Maybe I should upgrade more points in slam. What are you... Oh my god, get this thing out of here. That combat drone. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, crap. Let's get a little singularity action. Look at this thing. Come on, Miranda. Where's Tally and her shotgun? That's the question. That's why... Where is Tally? Is she dead? Jeez, Louise. Get down. There she is. Can you look at Tally? She's just hiding out behind this rock. Alright. I don't think those things had any ammo. Ah, oh, crap. Running low. You bet. There we go. Oh my god, I can't even hit this thing. Okay, there we go. We have two shots left. Wonderful. Oh wait, there's our shuttle. Let's get the heck out of here. Retreat. Hey, I never used this. Better. Oh, maybe I could have used a better rifle. Whew, that was close. Alright, we gained enough levels to uh, get two squad points. We gathered vital intel regarding collectors with the Omega-4 relay. Harbinger knows our true capabilities and will have to adopt new tactics. 
Uh, Harbinger's information network may rival Cerberus or Shadow Broker. Also appears impossible to block his ability to process minions. ED's work was exceptional, however, providing value of a shackled AI. We did get assault rifle training. Uh, we did get damage protection, which is nice. Tech damage, which is always good for our tech peoples. Uh, or engineers. Uh, we did get 75,000 credits, which is great. Element Zero is always good to get as well. That's right, we do. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Cut the act. You set us up and you better have a damn good reason for it. We needed information on the Omega-4 relay. That required direct access to collector data. It was too good an opportunity to pass up. Agreed. But I don't like surprises, especially when my ass is on the line. I put you at risk, yes. But without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld. And you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap. But I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. What did we Just learn? tell me it was worth the trouble. It was. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I'm guessing you have a plan. We have a science team working on a derelict Reaper right now. I need you to go and pick up its IFF. Where'd you find a derelict Reaper? An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. There really wasn't any other choice. Let's just hope this IFF works. My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Edie doesn't make mistakes. The Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy. And we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays and the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? 
No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later, we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. We need to, we need, we need, we need to start collecting our team first. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Oh my god, Jacob. Get out of here.